What we're doing the rally thing. We had to do some physics games. We had to find out like what the flow rate of the neck are is or how high the bridge is, or what the height of this castle of, of this church is. It's a lot of fun, actually. We're trying to estimate the height of the tower. Roughly. It's not actually hard to solve one problem. It's hard to agree, everyone to agree on this, to solve the same problem. I counted places yeah, I got, I that you like could walk them. into as a single type. Yeah. No, I counted them by their the color. Zip, zip, color no. <laughs> Well, oh, right, we can take an average with you on. Every time we have like six ideas. No, this is better, no, this is better. Right, uh, did anyone spot a bar where the tree lives? Anyone, anyone <laughs> find a tree in a bar? It's quite difficult. I think, we yeah. didn't expect that we have to do yeah. stuff like this. Uh, so we've had Calculating a flight. Yeah, yeah. Who would think that physical conference will include some calculations? What? Yes. It's outrageous. I think it's a conspiracy. You want to give us silly and silly questions just so we go to the pub. Hey, it's fun. It's fun. We have to see the city and all the sights. We saw a bridge. No, it's, it's, it's good fun. It's just really, really annoying when the numbers don't work out. Okay. Tell us where have you been so far? The philosopher's walk. <laughs> Around the world. We walked all like, along the river and it was really lovely. We're aiming for an ice cream and then we we'll see where we still have to explore a bit of Heidelberg. Simulations are a very powerful technique to relate the very simple universe left behind by the Big Bang with the complexity we see today. It's a field that's growing, so it has a bright prospects for students. It's also a, a very interesting field because the power of computers keeps growing very rapidly and we need new talented students to actually exploit the capabilities of these machines. I'm really impressed with this whole, this whole conference. And you do this every year, even experienced academics would have trouble doing this. As president of a Society of European Physics, I'm just so happy to see that the future of physics in Europe is in, in really good hands. I'm also really impressed by the fact that there are so many young women studying physics. Uh, the number that was given to me was 30% of participants are, are, are women, and that's almost double uh, the average for participation in physics throughout Europe. Best practice occurs everywhere and then there's often a tendency to think that that can just mean that the richer countries share best practice with the poorer countries. But I think the richer countries can actually learn a lot uh, from the poorer countries about innovation, about adherence to traditional teaching values, uh, about lower administrative overheads and things like this. Learning to do good physics on a low budget is something I think we've forgotten about because we, we now have big budgets to do things. And yet there's still a lot you can do with uh, some, some innovation and some, some clever ideas. And we, we mustn't lose the ability to think smart just because we can now go to a catalogue and order all sorts of lots of uh, nice equipment. I'm from the United States of America and specifically Albuquerque, New Mexico. And one of the organizers, Simon Schroeder, he was doing a study abroad. I became friends with him and he recommended I come here to ICPS. I have a poster. It's on a demonstration electron microscope that I built over the summer. So what's your first impression? It's kind of like the East Coast, but the language is different. How green it is. Oh, and the rivers. The rivers are amazing too. But for the East Coast, it just has that old world feel, but in America. And this is actually the old world. We discussed how everything, if everything was fine, if you had some problems how we solve these problems, what we are going to do tomorrow, who is in charge of what, and so on. We had some problems with the city rally. Some people went somewhere and I don't know where they end up. Some people took the wrong bus. Some people were at station two or so after two hours. And yeah, but actually it was fine. So I hope the people had at least a bit of fun.